Hey guys, I'm Serious JG, and welcome back to Let's Play. Uh, hold on one second, let me check out my like everything's screen up right now. All right, welcome back to Let's Play Station Fall. Um, I realized as we entered the junkyard, which has the magnetic boots, that we did miss an item or an area that I kind of want to see. Well, hold on. How the hell do I get here? I, I There was a mayor's office. Oh, it's up. We, mix, we missed an up. So if we go... South, then up. We get to the mayor's office. This permanently docked one man ship serves as the office for his owner, the mayor, the unofficial leader of the village. Main Street is below. You spot a copy of a book entitled Deciphering Alien Speech. Oh, well, they did mention the alien, uh, the, the alien, the mayor. Read book. As you open the book, a piece of paper flutters out. Read paper. Taking the piece of paper first. Bitter, salty, bitter, softness, weakness, sweet versus sour, hunji, noun form, bland, salty, sour, xenac, adjective form, bland, bitter, air, atmosphere, sour, bland, sour, sour, bland, bland, sour, died, failed, sweet, very sweet, legal destruction, sabotage, very salty, however, sour, bland, sour, sweet, turn back, bland, definite article, very sweet, bland, sour, I have shined light upon, slightly sour, solitary, very sweet, very salty, elements, substance, Sweet, slightly bitter. Brethren, adjective. Blind, sour, very sour. Is souring. Very salty, salty, sour. Bad, evil, deadly. Radiations. Spicy, hot, bland, bland, bland. 78, question mark. 7 over 8, question mark. Bitter, sour, very sour. Weapon, possessive. Very sweet, emphasis mark. Read book. The book is a technical linguistic text far beyond the understanding of your, far beyond your understanding of the subject. Drop book. So we have the piece of paper. And uh, I think we now know that um, the alien ship is, dots need to be tasted because the... Oh, North Missionary. I actually did not go where I meant to go. This is the home of some kook, a proselytizer of the fringe religion which believes that humankind has angered God by venturing out in space. And the universe will end sometime next week. Next week never seems to come, but there are enough kooks in the galaxy to keep belief going. You can exit to the south. Grimy Passage, the welder is trying to kill us. As you come into the boundary of the command module, the station's artificial gravity once again tugs you against the deck. Robot shop. Robot rump. So I believe it was down at level 7, or level 6. Enter ship, alien ship, taste, dots. Though it takes a lot of willpower and an equal amount of lip wetting to make it through all the dots. Ah, oh, boy. So this... Hmm. So this is where you could use that note and you could figure this out for yourself. Uh, do I really feel like doing that right now? I don't want to use that notepad file. That notepad file has PII. Um, i trying to think how I could... Um, pause the recording for a second. Okay, guys, we're back, and uh, I didn't want to just open a notepad file, because I had a notepad file that was open, but it was because I had jotted down some financial information for something, and I didn't particularly want that to be part of the Let's Play. So uh, I paused the recording, and I just copied all this down, as you'll see. So now if we read the note... What paper? Was it paper? Here we go. Now we can hopefully figure this thing out. So, and if I have to do it in real time, you have to watch. So, sweet, slightly bitter, uh, is brethren. Sweet, 
sweet, very sour. Hunji noun form. So brother Hunji. Brother and Hunji. Sweet, very sweet. Legal destruction. Sour, bland, bland, sour. Died slash failed. Very salty. However. Very sweet, bland, sour. I have shined light upon. Bland. Bland. The. Bland, salty, sour. Because they're saying bland is definite article. Bland, salty, sour would be. Zenac. Bitter, sour, very sour. Weapon. Slightly sour. So it looks like we have been caught up in an alien war. That's what I'm guessing right now. Slightly sour. Solitary. Bitter, salty, bitter. Softness, weakness. Very sweet, very salty. Element slash substance. Spicy, hot, bland, bland. 78. Seven over eight. It's another one where I think I remember the, the the what that means without having reasoned through it. Um, very sweet uh, emphasis mark. So the only weakness of the the xenon weapon is element substance seventy eight or seven slash eight. Okay, so what's element 78? Sour, bland, sour, sweet. Turn back. Now ye who... Uh, sorry, turn back now all ye who don't want to enter here. Somebody is stomping away upstairs. Thank you for that. Turn back the very salty, salty, sour. Bad, evil, deadly radiations. Very sweet. Emphasis mark. Turn back the bad, deadly, evil radiations. Bland, bitter. Air slash atmosphere. Bland, sour, very sour. Is souring. Very salty. However. Brethren Hunji, sabotage failed. However, I have shined light upon the Xenak weapon. Solitary weakness is element 78. Turn back the bad, evil, deadly radiations. Atmosphere is souring, however. So basically, this, this a I believe the alien who was, who was flying in this ship with this pyramid, uh, it's starting to seem like the pyramid was a weapon. He was trying to figure out how to disable and to stop it. And he's figured out its weakness, but... He's running out of air and is dying. And indeed, we find his skeleton on a spaceship that, per the captain's logs, used to hold this pyramid, but they took it on board the ship to study. Uh, and then we found a containment unit in the ship, which had been broken. So something broke out or broke in. And that's the deal. My primary concern, however, is still finding food. But I believe that without completely cheating and using the hint book. Because, uh, I, like I said, I remembered the solution, but 
Once you find the scientist studying it, mention the mayor of the town, and the mayor has a book on linguistics which includes connections on what different flavors could potentially mean, and you notice the alien has an unusually uh, large tongue casing, then I think it was reasonable to taste the dots. Like I feel like I came across enough stuff in-game to justify having done that, even though it is something I kind of remember from earlier. So exit the ship. Floyd here now. You notice that Floyd is also... Floyd has also gone into room. Now, I want to save the game because I, I noticed in the hint book it has some fun things that you can try to do with Plato and Floyd, so I want to try to get those done. Um, these are just things that you can do for amusement. So where is the hint book? Have you tried asking Plato about... Forget that first sentence there. Asking Plato about Floyd, Plato, Oliver, the volume of poetry, etc. Ask Plato about Floyd. If you do not cease this incessant interrogation, I shall teach you a lesson in manners you won't soon forget. Ooh. That might have been different had we asked him earlier. Uh, restore 3. Look. Be waiting for Plato to get here. Ask Plato about Floyd. He's an amusing and friendly little fellow. Ah. Indeed, it does make a difference how early in the game you ask them. Because, yes, folks, there is a force at work on the ship which is making the machinery turn against humans. And Plato has become increasingly rude to the player character. So, we can also ask Floyd about Oliver, although I don't know if we've seen him yet at this save point. Ah, uh, a new robot. Poor fellow, new robots are so mercilessly mistreated by the older robots. Such is our lot. Robots. <laughs> we are abused by other robots. Robots. So at this point, I'm just kind of messing around. I don't have a very specific function in the station's robotic organizational scheme, but I do keep the library organized. Ask Plato about a book of poetry. Some early poems by Ignatius Tomato. He is my current favorite. Then they continue to talk amongst themselves. The bedister, the reflective floor, the pattern of dots. Ask Plato about bedister. I'm really not at all mechanically inclined. My sincerest apologies. Ask Plato about... Oh, uh, alien dots. I don't remember what the other one was. You'll have to be more specific. Ask Plato about dots. Hmm. Some kind of alien writing, I presume. If I recall, the mayor is an expert on that subject. The mayor of the little people nation. And now I ask him about the reflective foil, which as far as I know we have not found yet. Transmolecular platinum foil. I am told that it is the most perfectly reflective material known and not just on the visual wavelengths. Well, there you go. That's everything we were instructed to ask him about. Let's ask Floyd about Plato, Floyd, Oliver, Huckabucka Beanstalk. Okay. About Floyd. That's me. Ask Floyd about Plato. Floyd's best friend. Oh, except you, of course. Ask Floyd about Bucka, Bucka, Beanstalk. Floyd loves games. Let's play. You know, the hint book's telling us to do these things, but there's not that much coming out of it. Reflective foil, pattern of dots, Oliver, and the hyperdiodes. Ask Floyd about Oliver. Beats me. Ask Plato. He knows everything. We might not have seen Oliver yet. About dots. Must be connect the dots. And a real easy one, too. None of these dumb numbers to confuse you. Where's my crayon? Ask Floyd about diode. You have to be more specific. Ask Floyd about bedestore. 
It's a kind of thingamajob for putting in a, you know, who's a, what's it? Ask Floyd about foil. Floyd loves anything reflective. Give Floyd a mirror and he'll be happy for days. Restore six. Look at Plato. Plato is slightly taller than Floyd. In addition, he seems to be wiser and older overall. Okay. Ask Plato about dots. You cannot see the ceaseless interrogation. I shall teach you a lesson of manners you won't soon forget. Ask Floyd about Oliver. If if we be there, if we be here when Oliver wakes up, Floyd would like to teach Oliver to play paddle ball. Paddle ball will help Floyd forget how lonely and scared he was until he found friends like you. Ask Floyd about Oliver. Uh, not Oliver, I meant ask Floyd about Plato. Restore, because I wasted a couple of turns. Not a big deal. So Floyd's still being very nice to us, but Oliver has become increasingly hostile. He was never, like, super friendly, but he's reached the point now where if we try to talk to him, he threatens us. So I feel like eventually that's going someplace bad. But for now, let's get back to the village. Floyd boasts about the time he helped someone find a lost paperclip. We're in the bank. The welder is coming to kill us. We're back in the alley. Junkyard. There is magnetic boots here. Warehouse. You've entered a smallish warehouse. A red sign is mounted over a door, closed, leading down. There are other openings in the ceiling and the southwest wall. Read sign. Trespass trading post vacuum storage area. Trespassers will be spaced. Save on slot six. Let's go down. We'll have to open the inner door first. Open inner door. The inner door swings open. Down. Airlock. This is a cramped airlock with doors above and below you. The door above is open. Down. You have to open the outer door first. Open outer door. It won't budge. Close inner door. Okay, the inner door is now closed. Open outer door. What could possibly go wrong? As the door opens, the air in the lock whooshes out in the vacuum space. Your lungs rupture, not to mention all sorts of even nastier stuff that you're lucky if you can't imagine. You have died. We've got 17 out of 80 points, giving you the rank of one day flash on the evening news. To so restore six. Probably don't want to go up there. Out there, unless we got a spacesuit or something, so we go up. Trading post. This sprawling old cargo ship, its engines long ago cannibalized for spare parts, has been converted into a store for supplies and curios. There's an eye-catching sign on the wall. Passageways lead in many directions, and there's an opening in the floor. You can see a 12-prong from its board, and an instruction sheet floating here. Okay, first of all, let's read the sign. Best prices in town. If you don't see it, ask for it. Illegal wares shown by appointment only. Free zone trademark explosive available. I'm thinking that we've got a couple of different locked boxes. Um, there's a safe, and there's a locked box um, that's supposed to have fuel in it, so we probably don't want to use it for this. But we've got a drill. I'm thinking if we could find some explosives, we're probably supposed to blow that safe. Read the sheet. Free zone liquid gorzium explosive. Instructions for use. Insert explosive in hole of appropriate diameter. Attach detonator to explosive and timer. Set timer, vamoose. Note, do not expose explosive to temperatures above 150 degrees Kelvin for periods of more than 100 millicrons. <sighs> so the explosives are available. We don't actually have them, though, do we? Get bored. He's trying to grab the 20 prong from its board. The small drill bit escapes from your hands and both tumble away. Do we have anything we don't need? Thermos bottle. I think we, I think they're saying that that explosive can't be exposed to temperature, so I have a feeling we're probably supposed to use the thermos bottle to transport it. Uh, I got a 20 prong from its board and there's a 12 prong from its board, so I don't know which one is useful. Maybe I'll just drop the board and we'll keep them both here.
look at hyperdiode. I feel like we're probably supposed to find a replacement for that to get the uh, detonator to work. Let's go up. We can't go that way. Ah, damn it. I know it's getting closer, but... Um, there's an opening in the floor. Oh. For some reason I thought there was a... Southeast, maybe? Shady Dan's. This space trailer houses the offices of Shady Dan, the village's used spaceship salesman. Dan isn't here, though. Connectors lead northwest and downward. Through the large, dirty window, you can see Dan's used spaceship lot. The spaceships floating in Dan's lot all have their prices whitewashed on the viewports, along with phrases like, a steal, and just reduced. In the corner of the office is a rather plain-looking machine with a keypad. It looks a bit jerry-built. Examine machine. The machine is of a very flimsy construction. An inspection reveals only two notable features, a keypad and a very small slot. The machine is currently off. Turn on machine. Okay, the Narcos machine is now on. Put card in slot. A voice from the machine says, current rank is 6, Lieutenant First Class. Enter new rank on keypad. Oh, sweet! Shady Dan is a shady man, but he's going to allow us to jerry-rig a higher rank for ourselves. Um, type, okay, well, let me just say, type 5. New rank is Lieutenant Second Class. Okay, store. I thought something funny might happen. Type 20. Error. Trips the inactive machine. The highest rank recognized by the Stall Patrol is 10. Type 10. New rank is Grand, Grand Fleet Hyper Admiral. Get card. Taken. Okay, so we can go northwest or we can go downward. Let's go down. Junkyard. All right. Floyd meanders in. You doing anything fun? He asked, then answers his own question. Nope, same dumb, boring things. You notice that Plato has also roamed into view behind Floyd, once again absorbed in his reading. Well, that's new from Floyd. Ask Floyd about Floyd. Or about me. Floyd drugs. Beat me, ask Plato. Ask Floyd about Floyd. That's me. Okay, so he, he just started saying same dumb, old, boring things instead of being all excited. you play, Okay, play with Floyd. You play with Floyd for a few centicrons until you win a game. Floyd gets angry, accuses you of cheating, and kicks you painfully in the shin. Uh-oh. I think the, um... I think the, um... the mysterious pyramid weapon uh, that was transported here by the aliens is starting to affect Floyd. So this is not good. We need to win the game before Floyd starts trying to murder us. Uh, I say that jokingly, folks, but that may be a thing. Um, all right, I know it's cheating, but I want to see the map. Uh, junkyard, Shady Dance, are we missing anything huge here? Oh, the greasy straw. Okay, so if we make our way back to the uh, trading post, there's a lot of things you can go, a lot of different directions to go to from there. But the main thing that we've missed is the greasy straw, which is going to be pretty important because I believe... That sounds like a restaurant, which means that's probably some place where we can actually get food. So we go northeast, we get to the warehouse. North. Oh, up maybe? Trading post. The trading post, we have our Frommets boards floating around because we didn't know which one we need. Southwest. Greasy Straw. The galaxy's best zero-G restaurant lies the sign over the counter of this deserted dive. Exits lead northeast and southwest. Search. What do you want to search? Search restaurant. Yeah. Search counter. We spot a cup of Ramosi and fire nectar behind the counter. Floyd meanders in. You doing anything fun? Nope. Same old dumb boring things. Get nectar. Taken. Search behind counter. Search 
below counter. I don't know. I thought there was going to be food here. Then again, the greasy straw is not described as having food in the map, so there's a grocery place if I keep searching the town and don't fixate on this location. So let's get out of here. Actually, let's save. Are we going to try something dangerous now? Let's drink the nectar. You are neither hungry nor thirsty. Okay, well, doesn't seem like it's that big of a thing. Grocery. This is a small convenience store, the main source of food and living supplies for this village, as well as a supplement supply for personnel from the space station proper. The shelves are pretty bare, and there's no one in sight. Exits lead north, east, southeast, and south. A small translucent plastic bag is sitting on one of the shelves. Look at bag. It's closed. Open bag. Opening the back plastic bag reveals vacuum taffy. Get taffy. Taken. Floyd sneaks up clumsily behind you and shouts boo in your ear. Pet Floyd. Hey, will you just leave Floyd alone? He shoves you away. Uh oh. Well, we did just save. Turn off Floyd. Floyd, shocked with his betrayal from his old friend, whis whimpers and keels over. Search Floyd. Because in the last game, we had to do this to find an item. You search the robot's compartments and discover a crayon, a paddle ball set, and finally a photo of yourself. On the back and crayon in Floyd's childish scrawl is the inscription, Floyd's friends. Touched, you return everything to its compartments where you found them. Turn off Oliver. You can't see Oliver here. Restore. Okay, turn on Floyd, I guess. We don't want to push Floyd away from us even faster. So let's restore an earlier state. Let's restore three. Wait for Floyd and Oliver to show up. Uh, turn off Oliver. You can't see Oliver here. Yo, Plato. Being unfamiliar with this model robot, you can't find the on-off switch. Okay, restore. It's very sad. So we're seeing now that, that we really are Floyd's best friend, and he loves us so much. But um, he does appear to be taken, be slowly being taken over by the forces of darkness, which is unfortunate. Um, so we're in the grocery now. We can go north, east, southeast, and south. Let's try going east. The barber shop. You enter the barber shop. You are kicked through the window by Shawn Michaels. You have entered a surprisingly old-fashioned looking tonsorial parlor. The far wall is covered by a classic barbershop mirror. The space village seems to be the last place in the civilized galaxy where someone can have their hair or fur trimmed by an actual human being. The barber isn't here, though. Doors lead northwest and west. Floyd follows you. Look at mirror. It's a standard old-fashioned glass mirror. So let's go northwest. Broadway. This is a wide, cheaply constructed space tube narrowing to the west. There are openings off this, quote, street in virtually every direction, including one leading downward. Down. Fortune teller. This is a tiny living bubble beneath Broadway. The inhabitant, who is nowhere in sight, seems to be in the profession of reading the future for superstitious spacers. You can see a crystal ball floating here. Floyd and Plato follow you. Look at ball. There's nothing special about the crystal ball. Let us take a stroll, Floyd, says Plato, tucking his boot under one arm. Tagging along after this simpleton human is becoming tiresome. He breezes out. Floyd hesitates, then follows. Get ball? Taken. Floyd meanders in. You doing anything fun? Nope. Same dumb old boring things. Up. East. Field office. The huge galactic mining conglomerate often open field offices in these space villages. And this one, this is one of those. Miners will haul some promising hunk of space rock into the vicinity and then come here to sell the rights to it. You can leave to the west. Some miners left a headlamp here. Oh, get headlamp. Take in. Save. Turn on headlamp. Okay, the headlamp is now on. Wear headlamp. You're now wearing the headlamp. Sweet. I don't know if the headlamp actually wears off, so I'm going to restore. 
and we can turn it on when we need it. But what I'm thinking is the headlamp is probably the thing that lets us go into those darkened rooms because unlike Planetfall, I believe in Stationfall, we are going to need to go into those darkened rooms. So this is possibly a bigger step forward than it seems like. Either way, it's uh, time to call it a video. I don't know how many videos I am into this LP, but I can already tell it's going to take a little longer to solve than Planetfall did. But that's okay. As long as people are still having fun. I'm the Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Simpleton, hum simpleton humans that you are. And I'm now going to get mad and cuss you out as I'm slowly taken over by an evil pyramid. Bye-bye.